Hey guys, um, today we're going to learn about equivalent fractions. Uh, who here knows what an equivalent fraction is? Fractions that are equal. Fractions that are equal, that is true, that is very true. However, what we're going to go ahead and look for here is we're not saying one half and one half are equivalent to fractions. They are, but we're going to go a little more diverse than that. So our first example here is we have two different fractions. On the left here we have two thirds, and on the right we have four six. Although they look different when they're written, two thirds, four six, they are in fact the same fraction. As you can see, one, two, three, one, two out of three, one, two, three, four out of six. Different looking fractions, but on the unit circle they look the exact same because they are the exact same. Um, the way we got into that getting into that fraction is as you saw there, uh, we took two thirds and we multiplied the denominator and the numerator by two each. Um, so two times two is four, and three times two is six. That's why two thirds is actually equal to four six. Um, so when we look at this one here, we got one quarter and, and two eighths. Um, what did we multiply our numerators and denominators by to get those equivalent fractions? Kelsey? Two. Two? Correct. If you said two, you nailed it. That's exactly <laughs> correct. So um, we get it down to multiple fractions, as you can see. Let's go ahead and take a look at this list of fractions here. Um, we have two thirds and eight twelfths, uh, three eighths and six sixteenths, and one quarter and three eighths. Which of these groups of fractions are the same? Is the first one the same? Raise your hand if you think the first group is the same. Correct, it is, it is. And what did we multiply that by to get those to be equivalent fractions? Four. Four, exactly. Very nice, very nice. How about the second one? Three eighths and six sixteenths. You multiply the top? Yeah, they're the same. They're the same? <laughs> we agree yeah. that they're the same? Okay, what did we multiply that by? Two. Two, very good, very good. And the bottom one? No, they're not the same. Mm -hmm. What did we multiply the top by? Three. Three. And what did we multiply the bottom by? Two. Very good, very good. So can you create your own equivalent fractions? Anybody? Two fourths and four eighths. Very good. Do you have one? No. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and pull out our notebooks and we're going to do some more practice questions. So go ahead and pull out your notebooks. Thank you.